welcome, welcome, welcome to Music Mondays with Terry Khan. Tonight we have none other than the amazing. Ah! Terry. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so many virtual hugs coming your way. Hello, how are you? How are you? I'm well. I am so good. Let me just turn you up to make sure I can hear all the goodness that will be coming from this, my iPhone 7. Okay, there we go. Listen, it's okay. It's, it's still an iPhone. You're still in the Apple family. It's all right. <laughs> Listen, now let's not get into that because I personally miss my Galaxy, but you know, that's that's not the conversation for tonight. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> We're going to give it just one minute. We want to get as many people in the room mm -hmm. as we can because... I want to talk about so much tonight with you, and I'm so honored that you are here. Thank you for having me. I'm oh truly honored, truly honored. I am honored, sir. I am honored. Android is childish. Here we go. Oh, boy. We started something on the IG. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, welcome to those of you who are joining. It is Music Mondays with Terry Khan, where our guest is none other than the amazing anointed psalmist himself, Osby Berry. Hit that little arrow on the bottom. Let them know Osby is in the, in the building. Oh, God. One day we'll be in the building again. Right, a physical building. <laughs> right now, we, we're grateful for technology. Amen. Let them know. Amen, for, te that. Amen for technology. <laughs> Could you imagine if this was happening with no... We will be, we, we will be lost like a ship. <laughs> Without <laughs> we'll <a> be lost. <laughs> so true. So in everything, we're going to give thanks. Yeah. Absolutely. But um, 30 more seconds, and we're going to jump right into it. Hello. Welcome, those who are joining. I see Mr. Akasi from home, all the way from Ghana. God bless you. Bless you. Manu, Manu, hello, hello. Hit that little arrow button. Guys, get your questions ready. There's a, a, a box on the bottom right next to the comment section with a little question mark. You can start to pin your questions now. I ask that you don't post them. Um on the page just so I won't get distracted, you know? And I do like to screen the questions. No offense to anyone. <laughs> so let's get into it. Again, welcome to Music Mondays with Terry Khan. Our guest artist is Osby Berry. Osby, I'll never forget the day I discovered you. <laughs> Let me tell you, last year I was, I was in my kitchen. My kitchen, I have an apartment. It's pretty mm -hmm. close to the living room, okay? Yeah. God will bless you with the mansion soon. Jesus. Listen, name. we're we're agreeing for the same thing. Amen. Okay, touch and agree. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I I had my usual devotion playing, and you know, mm -hmm. YouTube it will circulate uh, the different videos. It'll just start playing something, mm -hmm. and I heard so will I, and I had to. I was being I had to put down my dishes because I said, hold on. Not put down your dishes. <laughs> I, I did. I I had to stop. I had to stop the dishes because I had to find out who this was. I mean, the anointing that's on your life is is evident. It was anointed. The the band was bang your shout out to the MD, okay? Oh yeah. Yeah, he, he was he had he had together. Shout out to him for sure. Everything and then the vibe was like first of all, who is this guy whose range is higher than mine, okay? I was <laughs> in the flesh just a little bit. But when I came back out, <laughs> I said, "Oh my goodness." Mm -hmm. And then I had to start cyber stalking you because I said there must be more goodness where this <laughs> came from and um, I, I'm just so grateful to be able to speak with you today because through through me cyber stalking you I see that you are a true worshiper and I know that so first of all let's just talk about the, the cross worship in this video a mm -hmm. hundred billion <laughs> <laughs> let, let me let me just start by saying go ahead first of all i thank you for having me again i'm truly like i don't I think you honored. understand how truly honored and privileged i am to be talking with you oh my god um, that's, let's just get that out the way the <laughs> but um, secondly like I, I if i'm completely transparent i did not like that song because it was super wordy <laughs> and like it really like so, this, a lot of people I'll don't listen. know this i'll listen a lot of people don't know because it's, a, it's really worse. I'm like, man, I got to learn this song. But really, after sitting with it and letting it minister to me, it was like the more the more I listened to the words and sang the song, the, the deeper the, the meaning of the song meant to me, talking about 
the the creation and his salvation basically the death burial and resurrection of christ was throughout this whole song and the more I, I i sang it the more it just it just meant so much to me so um that video uh was recorded at a, um, a middle school camp uh okay. we did middle school camps um that year and when I say like the spirit of God was so heavy in that room to see the see young people actually really yes. hungry for God. It's like, yes. that's always in my heart is to see worship, like young worshipers yes. going for God, Un, like unyielded, unrestricted. unrestricted. It was, it mm. was an amazing time. And um, we had no, literally no intention on um, the, what the video is, has done and what it's continuing to do. Um, it was just a moment that we just wanted to, you know, broadcast to the world. And literally, um, when we posted, we posted the video uh, September of two, 2018. Uh -huh. I want to say maybe November, maybe mm -hmm. maybe late, late October, November, uh, early November, I had gotten a call from one of my friends and then was like, hey, um, yo, yo, your video is getting some traction. I'm like, okay, I was just watching it. It was at like 200 something views. Oh, it looks like at 50,000 views now. I'm like, hold on. This last week, it was right. like two, three something. So you mean to tell me, no, nah, I don't believe you. So I literally had to stop what I was doing. I was at church, <laughs> like about to leave worship. I said, let me step up to my office real quick. Real quick. And lo, lo and behold, it was at 50,000 views. And it was like, and ever since that moment, God has been just opening up so many doors um, of, of opportunities and just being around so many people that I've looked up to and I, this is nothing but and I say all the time this is nothing but a God thing I absolutely take no no credit for what God has done and how he had his hand on that moment and Ooh. people like you and so many other people are blessed by what God has already done in my life and I'm just grateful to God that I'm able to to, to, to share this to share the story honestly because even in that moment people don't know that I was dealing with sickness in that moment and really you know trying to get through that and so it was a whole lot of things going on, and the fact that my that the heart of God was still shown was still seen in that moment, I I'm, I take it no no credit for it at all, no credit for it. The heart of God was seen, it was felt, it was it was there. <laughs> Amen. I mean, first of all, you said you were ministering to a whole bunch of junior high school students. Yeah, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Now, I, I have been in the education field since 2005. We're not going to talk about my age, but I've been in the education field since 2005. And I like the high schoolers because I did one week with junior high school kids. And mm -hmm. I said, never again. They're all spawns of the devil. But <laughs> love the babies. Love the babies. Mr. Khan loves the babies. Love the, God loves but, the children. Right. But to grasp the attention of the children, like you knew that that was God. And I mean, whew, okay, let's back all the way up. Okay. because clearly you've had some experience before this video, <laughs> right? So for those of you who don't know you and for myself as well, I just like to know, like, we, I want to talk about the start of your ministry. How did all of this goodness start? Well, um, I was, I was told that I was um, singing at the age of four. Um, I was okay. singing before I could talk. Um, my first um, time ever singing at a church, I was maybe six, seven, uh -huh. Um, and I've always loved to sing, but I think around the age of like maybe my, my preteens, like maybe 12, like 11, 12, um, that's when I noticed like there was a calling on my life. And the more time I spent with God and different mentors at that time, um, kind of helped me craft what, uh, what was on the inside, Amazing. you know, people see like what you see now has always been, um, it's nothing, it's nothing new. It's nothing that I've just happened to do and God has right. really been using me before the video and I right. hope and pray that he continues to use me even after this video Amen. has you know stop doing what it's doing and Amen. yeah so you so you could you church kid you grew up in yeah church. yeah <laughs> I almost have a PK but I definitely grew up in church for sure that's amazing and then you joined so talk, talk to me a little bit about oh cross because I mean cross worship excuse mm -hmm. me because I was just focused on I was just like, this is the voice. <laughs> and then I saw, so you're part of a bigger movement. So this is a band that you tour with or yes. a part of. Okay. Yeah. So um, uh, we're just uh, basically just a collective of worshipers at different churches. Uh, we've all known each other for years. And um, I, that was maybe the second year I was with them. And I was like, hey, we just need you to come and do some worship songs with us. I'm like, hey, you know, y'all got me. Like, I'm, I'm open. So, of course. And we, we were just, you know, we were just worshiping at that time. And, and literally, it's like, I don't know, it's, uh, 
<laughs> just thinking about it now, just just thinking about how far, like even though it's only been two, it's been two years since the video has, has really took yeah. the pain off. But even just thinking back, thinking back on how God had His hand on the moment, it still it still baffles me, honestly. Isn't He dope <laughs> like that? God, God is God is dope, <laughs> like literally. <laughs> I call him the master orchestrator, yes, um, like like a chess piece, do, 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 you know. And all yeah. he wants us to do is just follow because he already that, he, he already worked that out, right? Yeah. Awesome. So I I want to talk to you about my favorite topic, which is worship. Yes. And even as I was listening that first time to um to so will I to you guys' rendition of that, you know, at the end you kind of broke, you know, mm -hmm. with the cause the words. Yeah. <laughs> You broke, I broke. I was about to break. <laughs> the ugly, the ugly church cry. Right. But <laughs> and as I said, when I watch every video, even if you're doing a cover song, we can feel your heart in worship. So I want to know from you, clearly a true worshiper, what is your definition of worship? Uh, man, I I feel like I get asked that question a lot, and <laughs> I really my my question, my my answer is always the same. Um, worship is. It's not just a song. Uh, it's not just a form of expression. It's it's not any of those things. Yes, they they encompass worship. Yes, of course. But worship is really who we are, who God uniquely designed in our DNA to be. Like we are worship. Yeah. And um, when I when I uh, found out I was having a conversation with you, I ended up talking to my friend about this very same topic, and he said something that was really good. He was like, "Worship is two parts. It's submission." And adoration um if you're if you're willing to be submissive to god then the adoration of god will naturally happen naturally and then, yes. and then when i thought about it as I, as he was talking i'm like basically our our worship is co connected to our obedience to god and it showcases our love for him if we we can't say that we truly love god if we're not willing to worship him we can't say that we have a relationship with god because worship is contingent on our relationship with him it's based on our relationship with him. And if without that, you can't say that you truly worship God because the word of God says we are to worship him in spirit and in truth. If you don't know the truth of God, then how can you worship him? What are you, what are you worshiping? What are you what are you worshiping? <laughs> are you worshiping a God? Or are you worshiping the, the God, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords? The God. Mm. The God. Or are you worshiping the people that's oh sing? Yeah. Or or and I, and I also said it too that people worship the idea of worship, the the, the especially right now with the with the um, with the worship movement, people idolize the the hill songs. This is not taking anything away from them. Not worship at all. The hill songs and the elevation worship. Yes. I mean, we get lost in the visual of worship and not experiencing that the true impact of leading a life of worship, lead like truly living a life of worship. Oh my God. My God. Whew. You just said so much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling my because, because we get so we get so lost in the hype. We get so lost in the hype of, oh man, I want to be the next this or I want to be the next that. Of God has designed you for something, and you can't you can't figure out who that is if you're trying to if you're searching for something else. The Word of God says, um, I, I like looking at the word. So excuse mm -hmm. me. No, um, no. Matthew six thirty three. Um, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these oh. other things shall be added. We, we're so focused on getting to the thing. We're so focused on getting to uh, what's what's popular or what's <laughs> getting <laughs> the, the notoriety. And we lose sight of seeking the kingdom. We have to seek the kingdom first and his righteousness, which is the morality of God. And then you receive those things. You, then you'll see the full, the full, the totality of what God wants to do. Come on, Elderberry. Listen. <laughs> I mean, it's it's this no, worship. It's worship so is so it's 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 everything to me. It it's worship is how I talk to my wife. Worship is how I I, I care for my children. Worship is how I treat um treat you. It's how I treat people. Yes. Worship is a lot. Yes. Literally, worship is a lifestyle. We Literally. we get that so often, but it truly is. It's the way we live. It's the way we act. It's the way who it's who we are. Literally and literally. literally, we are we are li walking, living, walking, breathing worshipers. So good, so good. So so now with the understanding of worship, what is our role as the worship leader? Let's talk to I, I see quite a few worship leaders on my live right now. What is the role of a worship leader? 
the role of a worship leader. Mm-hmm. The role of a worship leader is is very simple if mm-hmm. if you let it be. The worship the role of worship leader is to, and I wrote it down. I like taking notes. So you gotta forgive me on people. I'm gonna be I'm <laughs> the gonna role write of notes worship too. leader. <laughs> the role of a worship leader is to direct the hearts, minds, and spirits of the people back to God. However, you can only do that when you spend time with God in the secret place. Psalms 91 says, he who dwells in the secret place of the the most high God shall abide under the shadow. (laughs) You can't abide under the shadow or you can't even direct people to that secret place if you yourself haven't spent time in the secret place. Oh, you've never been. You get revelation in that secret place. You'll get the the songs and and not even just songs, the prophetic songs. And and that's another thing too. Mm -hmm. Um, the, um, The role of worship leader is to be open and transparent with with God in the in the worship space and not be so um what's the word confound to a set list. Mm. Like I've always been I've always been one that I, hey I'll give you a song or two there but wherever the spirit leads we gonna let's go. go. We gonna go <laughs> we there. Gonna you know, go. we gonna go there. Um and, and God moves and God breathes on those <laughs> moments. Okay. And another thing, <laughs> speaking of moments, let's not be so focused um as a worship leader, don't be so focused on creating the moment let the lord create the moment Not we see you. these mom- yeah we see these moments on youtube and things of that nature like oh man i want to create that moment or i want to do something like that let it be organic if the lord wants you to have that want, want that moment to be created he'll create it don't mm. press the don't force an atmosphere that's not conducive for god to, to dwell in you have you have to be obedient the role of world of the the role of worship leader. You have to be obedient. You have to nice. make sure your ear is inclined to the voice of God. You have to. You can't effectively lead people to a place and expect them to obey God when you yourself are being disobedient. You have to be obedient. You have to be obedient. You have to lead a life of obedience. Because you can only you lead someone to where you have been. Have been. Exactly. Right. Exactly. You are coming from that place and you're saying, come, let us go. Yeah, come on. Come on. That's so. Oh, oh, Osby, this is so good. This is so good. Sorry, I get excited. This is my favorite topic. Sorry, I, lo- right. I love it. I love it. So, <clears throat> you know, and I always say too, like the as worship leaders, our job is to also create a platform of worship for the people. Yeah. So now, let us look at what's happening in the midst of COVID nineteen. With who would have thought in a million years that churches would be shut down? So now, what do we say to that worship leader that worships the idea of worship and people coming and say, oh, you sound so good. Da, da, da. So what do we say to that worship leader who's really suffering right now because there's nobody to lead? How how can you still effectively lead when you have to look at the camera? <laughs> hey, hey, honestly, I, I, be, I believe that you can worship anywhere. It doesn't right. matter if you're at a, in a physical building. It doesn't matter right. if you're at home, sitting on the couch. Worship, if, if worship lives on the inside of you, it'll come out. It'll, mm-hmm. it, because, it, because again, going back to the secret place, if you dwell in the secret place at home, it doesn't matter if you're at, at a home church. Or at, where, it doesn't matter. It Very comes good. out. It, it, and, and, it, and like you said, the people will feel it. It'll, it'll come from your heart. But it, it's, it stems from you spending time with him. And then also, we have to be very careful of those mm-hmm. kind of worship leaders that are just seeking to um, be, be back at a place of worship because they feel lost within, them, within themselves. It's like an I did anything. Listen. And we have to be very careful with those kind of worship leaders because when they're not the focal point, that's when what God should be the focal brother. point, that's a yes. dangerous spot to be in. Very to good. lead people, to you, or, or you think you're leading them to a place of God, but you're leading them to yourself. And that is dangerous. <laughs> you know that God is a jealous God? He is jealous. He jealous. is a jealous God. So the fact that you are trying to lead them to a place of self. Uh. And and I always say that the kingdom <laughs> is the only place where you can work and still be fired. So you think you're leading them to a place and you're not you're not even you don't even have access to the place. You don't have access to it because you don't spend time with him. You don't. I have to be saying that one more time. Very, you have to be one very, very, very careful. Say that one more time. <laughs> you have to be careful not to lead to lead them to a place of self because that the kingdom is the only place where you can work and, and not and not with the benefits of it. 
you you do all of these. I would hate for everything that I do on this earth to be in vain. I would hate for it to get to get to the throne of grace and then he look at me and say, depart from me. I know you not. Who are you? Who and are like, God, you? I've been in church five days and, a week. And that's the thing. We always sit, we always will we'll come to God with, I oh, God, I did this. Oh. God, I did that. God, that's oh, the oh, first man. problem. It should have been it should, it should never be about you. <laughs> it should be about what you've done for the kingdom. Not God, I did this for you. God, I no, no, no. God is like, no, you're right. You're you right. Did, yeah, did you're you. right. You, you did, did that. It. But did oh, you do you it did. in my name, though? That's the thing. Did you do it in my name? <laughs> oh, God. That's, that's the misconception here. Don't do it in your name because your name does not have the power. The only name that has the power is who? My son, Jesus. And if you didn't do it in his name, it's no one boy. So and you, you know, have, to be, have to be careful. You have must to. be careful. You must be careful. And I'm I'm really grateful. I feel like there has been, with our generation, there has been a shift in the way that we worship. Yeah. You know, when I look at cross movement, when I look at like a Maverick City and these 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 like culminations of different styles of worship, I'm really grateful. Yeah. You know, because you know, let's be real, Asby, we black, right? Come on, come on, keep keep it up, you keep know? it a whole book. <laughs> Sorry, this is Terry Todd. You know, there's like there was like the black worship. Like if you're not squalling and doing a million runs, you weren't mm -hmm. really singing. You're not. Yeah, all of that. Yeah. And you're, not think, you're not singing if you're not running. Of course not. You know, I, you know. And then we have the white worship. Where it's like glory to God. And I, you know, the real contemporary. <laughs> <Right. you know? laughs> and I just I love this shift that's happening. And yeah. I feel like with the shift, it's forcing us to look at real worship. Especially us, honey. Yeah, yeah. Okay, because yeah. I go to a church now. Like, oh, I don't have to dress all the way up. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm still with my lashes, obviously, but I don't have to dress right, right. all the way <laughs> right. up. You know, from head saying? to toe with a doily and all of that. Yeah. <laughs> so I do. I want you to speak a little bit on the. I, I call it the new generational merge of worship. Like, how yeah. are you feeling about this? I I love it. Yes, I love it. <laughs> um, because like you said, we especially our church. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm, us. We get so caught up in the runs, but do those runs carry anointing, though? <laughs> anybody can sing. Anybody, anybody can lead. Right. And, 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 and it's so funny because, and I, and I use this as an instance, um, so I, I, I had this conversation, like, maybe a couple months ago <clears> about, <throat> about the, the intricacies in the running. That's yes. cool and all, but it's I beautiful. would take the person who doesn't do that and has the heart of God. <sighs> Than the person who, ooh, I thank right. you, Lord. Right. And with no oil. Right, at all. With no conviction. Right. I would take that other person who, who sings flat foot and, and, and is at the throne of grace. You can you know they spend time with God. Come on. And the thing is, that's another thing. You can sense when people are authentic. You can sense when people are actually yes. spending time with God. You can feel it. And when you don't, you can feel that too, <laughs> right? You could be like, "Oh, that, mm, that, that didn't, that, that didn't, that didn't, that rubbed my spirit the wrong way." Like, what is happening? You'll feel that, or it just feels like a show. Like, oh, yeah, you, or you better like sing, sing, honey. Like, but I'm okay, going home. All to right, sing. when is this? When is this performance over with? Like, yeah, and you're going home the same. So I Never like change. That's awesome. Cross, cross movement. So how did you, you said you guys are like a conglomerate of worship mm -hmm. leaders. Where, where are you based out of? Oh, uh, uh, well, I'm, I'm originally from Cincinnati, Ohio, but I stay in Dayton now. In Ohio. Okay. Yeah. Shout out to Ohio. Ohio in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, was, I, met, I met a friend from Ohio about 10 years ago and he was black. And I was just like, there's black people at Ohio. Oh my God. Okay. Like, well, we out here. We're the, out here. It most ignorant. So from ten years ago, uh, ten years ago, I found out that okay, that's my transparent moment. Now, <laughs> back to you. <laughs> so, when we look at the video, so will I. Mm -hmm. It's from 2018. Yes. And we look at you today. There's been a there little bit of a change. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was coming. I knew it. <laughs> There's been a little bit of a change. One day I looked at your video and I said, bit. "Oh, this is a little bit." Doing. Can, Come can on, O-A-I-O. I see you. Shout out, OKJ. 
is, is it okay to talk about this? Absolutely. Oh, okay. absolutely. absolutely. So you dropped how many pounds? I have dropped 142 pounds, I think. Yeah, 142 pounds. Give or take. How? Give or take, yeah. How? How? how do, tell me, because I've Listen, gained about I, 100 and I'm not ashamed. I just want you to know, I'm not ashamed to tell my story. So That's awesome. This happened around the same time um, that so I was posted. I was going through the process of getting weight loss surgery. Okay. Actually, the third time, because I should have gotten it back in... 2016 but i okay. talked myself out of it had family talk me out of it right. but this time i'm like lord i'm not gonna tell nobody <laughs> i'm doing this for me for the betterment of my health because at that time i was dealing with uh pre-diabetes uh, pre wow and just a whole lot of other um, issues my kidney issues was going was i was going haywire so i'm like lord i have to do something right and last year um actually it'll be, it'll be a year um in two days Awesome. Uh, so June 3rd of 2018, I'm sorry, 2019, I ended up getting a surgery. And I'll tell you, it has been one of the best decisions. Thank you. Thank you so much. It has been one of the best decisions awesome. um, I have ever made outside of marrying my beautiful wife. Come on, wife. I, I, am, I am so, I am so <laughs> grateful that I was afforded that opportunity. And awesome. now to be in a position to inspire other people, um, because I'm not afraid to tell my story. Um, awesome. Whether you do it the surgery route or whether you want to go the natural route, as long as you are taking do it. And taking care of your health at the end of the yeah. day, it really doesn't matter. So yeah, and and I I, I only bring it up, <clears throat> excuse me, not for any other reason, but I'm just a big health advocate, mental, physical. Yeah. So I want to say kudos to you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. Awesome. Continue to use your platform to to spread the goodness of health, especially with us. Yeah, 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 and I, and I felt like I had to do it because I wanted to be an example for my children. Yeah. Like I want to be able to run with them. I want to be able to see yes. them graduate. Yes. I want to see them married. So it's like I'm thinking of the long term goal here. Right. So, and to be ho hopefully, prayerfully have another child. So just really, just you know, so pray, pray, pray for us. But uh, I mean, we are quarantined, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm just looking at looking at the future, and also not even just my family, but just even in ministry, I felt like yeah. I, I, I was obligated to take care of my health because I wanted to really do the things that God has called me to do, and I didn't want to be weighed down physically oh. and mentally. Oh. Like, and even think, and even with the mental, like you said, I, I didn't know that you were a mental, a mental coach is what you said? Mental health advocate. Mental health advocate. Big on it, yes. Yeah, like, even with having surgery, it really changed the way I think. Wow. And how, how I view, actually view myself, view how I ate, eat now. Um, my addictions to food um, have, I was like, really, I was really addicted to that thing. Mm -hmm. so I don't do with it now, but I'm like, just looking back on all the things that I used to do that I don't do anymore. Hallelujah. <laughs> so um, so it's, it's really, um, it's like I said, it's one of the best decisions I've ever made. Ever made. That's awesome. And I, um, you know, thank you for being honest about the fact that you had the surgery. Some people think it's like a cop out, but little do they know. Like after you have the surgery, there's still steps that you have to take, right, to keep it. Oh, can can can, can I interject here? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Listen, when I say, because I I hear that all the time, like man, I don't know why you got the surgery. You could have just worked out. You could have did this. I did. Well, you could have mm. just did it the natural way. I tried. Right. Right. <laughs> and it failed. So. It doesn't, and people think that when you have the weight loss surgery, like you said, it's a cop out. When in, in essence, you have to work literally ten times harder to maintain it because I've seen people. I've even I have friends that have had the surgery twice and what? and gained it back. So it's 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 all about a mental thing. Where, I didn't where know that was possible. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. It's definitely possible because wow. after so long. Um, your stomach grows uh, almost say back to its original form. But right. It does expand over time. And if you're not eating the right foods, if you're not uh, making sure you take your vitamins and make sure you, your protein is up, up to par, mm -hmm. you will gain that stuff back. I won't say all of it, but you will gain most of it back. Right. If you're not taking care of your health. The whole purpose of you getting the weight loss surgery was to it's take to care of your health. So you lose yeah. the weight to gain it back. It does, That doesn't make sense to me. So... But yeah, like you said, it's, it's a mental thing. Yeah, like, it is. Like, addi addiction to food is a real situation. Yes, Somebody says surgical intervention is not capital letters. A Thank you. Thank it's you, It's not. It's not. It's not. 
Listen, Thank you, brother. And I, and I, and I, I encourage people um, who have tried. I, I, as a matter of fact, my father is even thinking about doing it because, which I, which I found interesting because he was one of the ones that was telling me not to do it. <laughs> what do you see? Daddy the success was scared that I, for his baby. He was like, son, don't do it. Don't do he it. Come on, we can, just, we can just go for walks and stuff, son. He's Come on, we can cool. do it. <laughs> So now he's thinking about doing this. I'm encouraging him and trying to help him along the process. And, you know, anybody who wants to go down that route, even if you're watching, if you're thinking about going down that route, don't be afraid to do it. Don't be afraid yeah. to do it. Don't let nobody talk you out of doing it because yeah. at the end of the day, it's your health that you are taking care of. Nobody else's. It's your life. Do, do what's best for your life, what's best for your family, what's best for your future. And you know what I find so people are always going to have something to say. Absolutely. Absolute. No matter what. Absolutely. You're too big. You're too small. You're too this. You're too that. People are going to be people. Let them be where they are. <laughs> Let them be. Just please the Lord. <laughs> like Wait, just praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <laughs> just please the Lord. Because people will always, always have something. So yeah. again, I, I applaud you on that. Guys, again, if you have a question, just hit the little box with the question mark. I already see one question in there. I'm just going to... Okay. When is the next song and when will it be out? So before you answer that question, I know that you are a part of the band. So are you now branching out to be a solo artist? You're coming out with an album? What's going yeah, on? I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, we've always been separate, but when we come together, we do things together. Okay. So um, actually, I actually am working on a project. Uh, <laughs> Hopefully, prayerfully, it'll be out soon. Come so, on. just really working diligently and trying to get that out because I just don't, I don't want to put out anything that one that God isn't pleased with, Very and good. two that doesn't, you know, doesn't sound right. So, I'm still, just still trying to figure out the sound I'm going for. Okay. And just going for that. Yeah. W will it be worship based though? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. All right. Absolutely. Don't go on off and try. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. No, no, no. no I'm going to stay, stay in my lane. <laughs> I mean, if you want to dance a little on one or two tracks, you could, but yeah, come on back. Oh, yeah. No, because seriously, because your worship is, is so amazing. Uh, someone said, I'm just looking at these notes. Each one, teach one. As a black doctor in training, I love this combo. Shout out to Maddie, black doctor. Shout out. Shout okay. out to you. Shout out. Amazing. Someone said, what is the name of the surgery? Um, The, the name of the surgery, Um, I had the um DSG, which is called the vertical gastrectomy. Yeah. Um, they also have uh, they have that they have the ruin Y, which is the the, the 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 one that everyone knows as the the long yeah bar. yeah, yeah. I, 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 no no <laughs> they have the lap and then they have the lap band uh, yeah which it's, it's okay but they don't you don't see a lot of success with that so they said that VHG would be the better better option and yeah so. awesome 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 hey Crystal shout out to you Soror so Thank you are you. now. You, you don't know when you have a release date yet? Like, in, do you have a range? No. Just, okay, no. Yeah. All right. So what are who are some artists that you have worked with in the past and who is on your bucket list? <laughs> oh, um, I have I have worked with um, J.J. Harrison. <gasps> I, I have worked with um, Jason Nelson. Oh, yes. Oh, um, I'm, I'm trying to trying to get something going on with uh, Mr. Israel Halton, so just praying for that. Uh, I you were praying. <laughs> so yeah, doing that, and um, well, it's 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 a it's a host of, of surprises. Hopefully, they'll be on the album. Host of ages. Okay. <laughs> host of, host I'm, of I'm sorry, that was too easy. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Awesome. So you yeah. are you're pulling you're working with them. You're hoping that they will have features on your album. Tiffany said, work with Terry. I don't know if I could afford Osby yet. Continue to donate. We can, we can talk. We can talk. <laughs> what? Yeah, I wouldn't last in we the studio. Talk. Osby, I wouldn't last. I'll be prostrate. You'd be like, Terry, it's your part. I'm like, but you just stay. I'm prostrate. I'm... We got to separate. Listen, we're we're going to have to separate. We might both be laid prostrate, you know? <laughs> We'll talk off. We'll talk. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that that is so awesome. I'm like, so excited for your future and i know you are too um guys if you have any questions please just put it in in the box i have a whole list so i can keep talking forever but i want you guys <laughs> to be able to ask your questions as well i know that you are a proud father because you have beautiful pictures of your children on instagram yes. and um i usually talk to the mothers about this but i want to also talk to the fathers because we have fathers who are actually 
play a role in their children's life. Yeah. So how do you balance out fatherhood with your ministry? Oh man, um, I, I make I, I make time for my kids. Good. Um, so ministry. I always I always say that ministry begins at home. <sighs> I would hate to be a um, a public success and be a private failure. Failure in my home. I, I would hate wow. that. And I always make it up, make it my duty to spend time with them. I try to teach them the word at their level. Um, and even just, and even just recently, my uh, my youngest, who was eight, mm -hmm. he um, was asking questions about um, how how God was formed and things of that nature. And just like, kind of dig into that. So, like, my sons are really just like here lately. They've been blowing my mind with these questions. Don't <laughs> so they? Really trying to teach them all. Oh, just really trying to teach them the the, the importance of worship and Good. being uh, just an overall. Um, believer of God, just really trying to just instill them the values uh, of being a man and being a man after God's own heart. Ooh, you have groomed them well. God bless you. Do any of them sing? Are they following oh, your singing footsteps? I, I, can't tell them, I can't tell them to stop singing. They okay. sing all the time. <laughs> well, Wake up I mean, morning. oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, okay. All right, we know it. you love God. We know you love God. Thank you. I love it. I love it. Someone says, thank you for blessing us with your songs, Ozzy. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. I agree. Guys, if you have questions, just put it in the question box. So if your sons came to you and said, Daddy, I want to follow in your footsteps, or will you support it? Because you know the grind. We're going to talk about the industry. <laughs> you know, church, church is one thing. <laughs> this industry? Did we get into the industry side? Yeah, industry. It's a, it's a, I did, and and honestly, and I, I'll be even transparent. Like, I I I was never I was never one that was really big on industry um, okay. because I've heard a lot of poor stories, and um, I won't say I'm in the industry, but I know of industry people and okay. of things surrounding the industry. So right. I'm very very protective of the 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 gifting that God has placed on my heart and the vision yeah. that He's placed on my heart. Yeah, and uh, right, industry is no joke. At industry all, is no joke at all. So, yeah. Shout out to Shanta Fuente. She's an amazing independent artist. Go yeah. check her out, guys. Shameless plug. <laughs> I'm on shameless plug. Right. <laughs> Big up my people. Look, it's hard out here being an independent artist. It, it, oh yes, it is. Oh yes, it is. Which leads <laughs> me to my next question: What mm -hmm. advice do you have for independent artists? Because again, a lot of a lot of us are on here right now. So just talk to the independent artists. Keep us encouraged, brother. Barry. Uh, listen, I got, I got, uh, you know, I got to go back to my notes now. Okay. <laughs> got to go back to my notes. Man. You know, you could just read the rest of your notes if I didn't ask <laughs> everything, because you got good notes. I want to hear everything. <laughs> just read them. Listen here. Um, and then send them to me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Email them. Okay. I mean, well, I, I guess it's kind of what I, what I mentioned before um, about, hold on, let me go back to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's kind of basically what I mentioned before about just making sure that you're in the secret place and not um, so gung-ho about um, the fame. Um, just make mm -hmm. sure that, especially if you're a gospel a gospel indie artist, yeah. making sure that your integrity is intact and um, and not rushing to be the next person. God is using you and he has an audience and a, and a, um, a base for you. Yeah. So don't be so focused on what's happening over here when God is mm -hmm. after you, especially with this, the, 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 the COVID-19, this thing that we're in, in essence, it's a really an opportunity to really focus in on what God really wants out of our, out of our, our out of our ministry. Yes. Or industry, whatever you want to call it. Right. Um, and really just being intentional in this season and really asking God, what, what do you want? Mm -hmm. And not so much as what I, cause, and I, I'll even be transparent. Like I want, this thing, the thing that I'm working on with the music, I want to come out like right now. I want to come out right now, but God, me like, too, it's, me too. It's not, it's not ready, and it's like God, like you know, I'm trying to do this, and I don't want to. No, it's really just being patient and being diligent, and what I always like to say, being faithful where you are, um, and allowing God to use this moment to really craft out vision, really craft out your next steps, because once this thing is lifted, I, I truly believe that um, that. Um, if we write the vision and make it plain, mm -hmm. God will give. God never gives us a vision without the provision. So we have we have to be ready for the provision, but we have to be prepared with the vision first. We have to. Okay, so, so definitely, we're all into our indie artists, making sure that your vision um, is not only just your vision, but the, the vision is aligned with God's vision for you. 
So yeah. going back to the secret place. Come on. I started with them, like, all right, God, what do you want me to write down in this vision? What do you want me to take out? What do, what do you want? And that, that's the question I ask myself uh, when I talk to God all the time, like, God, what do you want? Mm, 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 mm. You would drop in some juice. What's your cash app? <laughs> no, I'm serious. It's dollar Ozzie sign Ozzy Berry. Yes, ma'am. Okay, good. Dollar <laughs> sign. I'm gonna need you guys to bless, bless the man, the God, on this, in this hour, because he's he's giving you some jewels for free. Why, yes, God? Right. This is this is so this is so good. My last question for you before, because I need you to sing a lot. Um, but <laughs> a lot at eight o'clock. Oh. You know, Instagram is disrespectful. They will cut us off. Um, how has COVID nineteen affected you and your ministry besides the obvious? Oh, yeah, besides, besides the obvious, you know, cancellations, eh, mm. it's okay. And, and honestly, for a minute, there, I was like, all right, Lord, I, I don't know how I'm going to provide for my family because mm -hmm. literally 100% of what I do is going to different churches and things of nature. Right. And, yeah. like, I, I literally would just cry out to God. I'm like, Lord, I don't know how we're going to get these things paid for, these bills paid for, but I'm trusting you. Right. And every, every day I wake up and say, Lord, I don't know what's happening. I don't know when this is going to live, but I trust you. I trust you. And every time, he always provides. He always, oh God. he always brings somebody to my, like, hey, do you need, do you, do you want, can, can you do this? And and not expecting anything. I just do because I, I, I'm, I'm a person with a big heart and I like to do for yeah. everybody. And, you know, like, hey, here's a little something here. And little do they know it'll be the very thing that I need. Oh. Get. So, it's, uh, th it's really been a humbling experience to be um, in this predict uh, pandemic that we're right, in, right? Right. Um, but and I and I always say that the pandemic will never stop my praise, though. Like, <laughs> it has stopped my praise. If, if not, if not anything, it's intensified it even the more. It's intensified my prayers. Intensified my praise. It's intensified my my intentionality in seeking His presence. Um, and because I know once this is over with, I, I refuse to be the same way I was when this thing started. This is and, I, and, and and anyone that's even watching now, like when you went through this thing, I, I pray that that you leave different out of this. That you don't do church as usual after this is over. Once they open up the buildings, Amen. go and worship God in, where like in, in that space. And yeah, I, I feel like this this COVID nineteen has really shifted the mindset of, of believers. And oh yeah, the, the, how we do church. Oh yeah, and I yeah. pray that even the, the stuff that we do online stays. <laughs> Once this is over, because really you're reaching out to a, a different audience, a different um, range of people by doing right. so. Right. So I know y'all put up these hearts as amens because <laughs> 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 you know. And I was, I was in my devotion today. It was really impressed upon me. I hate to say the Lord said, right? Mm -hmm. It was really impressed upon me that we as uh, Christians, especially those of us who have a platform, mm -hmm. we need to take this time to be readier than ever. Oh, because yes. when this actually does lift, then we're going to see the effects of COVID, right? Mm -hmm. People's mental, people, people, things are going to happen after this depression. I mean, it's so yes. serious. So we have to be really ready to undergird, undergird, undergird people yeah. spiritually. You know what yeah. I'm saying? We really have to be ready to heal through our music and, and to pray more. So take this time, as Osby said, I say this, Osby said this, take this time to really, really see God in our quarantining and yeah. just, and, just and to eat also it. Too, um, and even for the ministers, if you have any ministers or preachers in this room, mm -hmm. on, um, excuse me, on this on page, the I encourage mm -hmm. you to just when this thing lifts, like you said, there are going to be people that are going to come in broken. Yeah. Going to come in um, that don't look like you, that don't act like you. Our yeah. job as believers are, are to embrace them and let God yeah. do the changing. We're so focused. We, we, we try so hard to change people ourselves. God is the only one that can shift mindsets, that can change hearts and perspectives. Amen. But it's our job to open up our, open up our, our hearts. And for those who have uh, buildings to open up our doors to these people so that yeah. God can really bring salvation to their hearts and bring change. Yes. As, and we, we're, we're like, even like before this thing started, we, we are we are some of the most judgmental people. Brother. We are some of the most judgmental. And, I, and I've even had instances where I judge. I'm being tr completely transparent. Indeed. But 
after this is over, God is going to use the rebel mm. to bring revival. <laughs> He's going to bring the rejects to revive this nation. He's going to bring these people. And, and we have to, like, like I say, we have to be ready. We have to be spiritually ready, mentally ready for these, for these people to come in so that God can really just blow this nation up with fire for him. It's coming. It's coming. I, I, I feel that strong in my heart. I, I feel, feel it. it. Indeed. He's going to use the least of these. Whew. He's going to use the least of us. So we have to be very careful how we treat the least of these. My God. Have to be. My God. Dollar sign Osby Berry. <laughs> <laughs> this is so, oh, this is so good. This is so good. Okay. But I, I can talk to you all night. So, yes, yeah, Shanta is coming. Use the rebel to bring revival. I'm every time I look away, it's me typing notes. By the way, this is amazing. Um, Osby, we are so so honored that you have decided to spend this hour with us. I don't take it lightly. Like, oh, we're in the quarantine. We have nothing to do. You have a lot to do. You have children. You have a wife. You have a whole life and a ministry. So I really, really do appreciate you taking the time Thank you for to come and me. talk to little old Terry Kyle. You know who <laughs> I am. God bless your soul. And <laughs> please, I want you to take us out with some of your good worship. All right. <laughs> Father, we just thank you. Thank you, God. you for what you are doing in this hour. God, I pray that something was heard on tonight. Yes, God. God, I pray that your spirit is even felt in the room. God, I even pray for those that are dealing with um, the effects of COVID-19 and even the um, situations right now with the loss of our brothers um, and our sisters during this time. God, there's a lot of um, suicidal thought. Yes. Um, I feel it strongly on this page. God, I pray now that you comfort them. God, I pray that you, you, you invade their hearts right now. God, give them comfort, give them strength, give them peace to endure, God. God, let us seek your praise even the more. God, let us seek after your your your, your kingdom even the more. Thank Where you. the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty, God. Yes. We are in need of your freedom in this hour. Thank God, we're in need of your presence. God, have your way with us. Thank God, for you alone are holy. Thank you, for you alone are majestic. For you Thank alone you, are sovereign. Thank for you alone are all-knowing, God. You know all. You see all, God. God, send revival now. Send revival fire right now in the matchless name of yes, your son. my God. The enemy has had his way long enough. The enemy has had his time with those. God, I pray now that you lift the um the hand of the enemy and replace it with your hand of grace, God. Um, heal this land, God. You said in your word that if we seek your face and turn from our wicked ways, that you will hear from us yes, and God. heal the land. God, I pray that you heal the land all, as, as only you can, oh God. God, I thank you and I love you and I praise you, God. And I will always have my worship. Yeah. prepared for you so god here's my worship you can have it all yes god, god i thank you now because you lord you are worthy yes because no one can worship you for me for all the things you've done for me no one can worship you for me. Here it is. Here's my worship. All of my worship. Lord, receive my worship. All of my worship. Lord, here is my worship. All of my worship, but we see my worship. You can have all of my worship. Oh, because you, Lord, you are worthy. Yes, Lord, as no one can worship you for me. Yeah, 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 just for all the things you've done for me. Oh, no one can worship you for me. Here it is. Here's my worship. All of my worship.
worship. Here it is, we see my worship. You have all of my worship. Lord, receive my worship. All of my worship. Lord, receive my worship. All of my worship. Oh, and I will not be silent, Lord, I will always worship you. Right now, even in this moment, I'll worship yes, you, God. oh, as long as I am breathing, Lord, I will always worship you oh, oh and i will not be silent lord i will always worship you and as long Lord, I will always worship you. Here it is. Here's my worship. Yes, God. Oh, all of my worship. Yes, Lord. Lord, receive my worship. You can have my worship. Right now in this moment, here's my worship. All of my worship. Lord, receive my worship. All of my worship. Lord, I will not be silent. Lord, I will always worship you. I will worship you right now, God, as long as, as long as I am breathing. Lord, I will always worship you. Lord, I will always. Mm. Worship you, even when I don't feel like it, Lord. I will always woo, worship you, even in my pain, God. Lord, I will always worship you. I may be confused right now, but Lord, I will always. Worship you just because of who you are, Lord. I will always Hallelujah. worship you in this nation, God. I still, I still always worship you. So here's my worship. All of my words, only you can receive it all. Mm -hmm. Only you can receive it all. So here it is. Here is my worship, Lord. All of my words. Please receive my worship. All of my worship. Purify our hearts. Mm. Purify our minds. Purify our souls. Mm. Purify our worship. Mm. Purify <laughs> our hearts. Purify our minds. Purify our souls. Purify our worship. Because, Lord, I will always I worship you. Right now, I will. Lord, I will always worship you. 
God, I love you. Lord, I will always worship you. Hold us right now, Lord. I will always worship you. God, we thank you for your presence. Thank you, God. God, thank you for receiving our worship on tonight. Wherever we are watching this, God, I pray that you invade our hearts, yes, God. that you rest with us, that you dwell with us, and we will not be silent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we refuse to be silent because you have done so much for <laughs> us. You've made so many ways for us. You've opened doors. You've even closed doors, mm -hmm. God, that we shouldn't have walked through, God, and we thank you for those. We thank you for you loving us. We thank yes, you for God. you shielding us. We thank you for your covering. God, cover us. God, lead us back into your presence. Yes, my God. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. <laughs> amen and amen. Amen. Thank you, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, thank you, Lord. Osby, thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. I want to say something before we before we end. Mm -hmm. I, I feel I feel this strongly. There, there's a shift about to happen in some of you's houses right now. Thirty seconds. A lot, a lot of you, mm -hmm. a lot of you have been, been, been wondering, when is this going to be over? When is? <sighs> some of you have been struggling. I pray now that the struggle is over. Amen. The struggle is over, not just in your finances, but in your minds. The enemy has been using our minds as playgrounds, and I, I come against the spirit of suicide. Sorry. I, I'm sorry. I no, didn't... it's okay. <laughs> I was hoping. I was like, I'll come back. Please, come I'm back. sorry. Be, be I, back. Just, I was like, oh, God, I didn't know it was going to come out. It's okay, but um, but yeah, I'll, I'll be I'll be brief. I promise. Oh, we um, have another hour. Go ahead. <laughs> um, but yeah, the yeah the the spirit of of suicide has really been lingering in um on the last post. I don't know who was on there, but it doesn't matter. But the the enemy has been using your minds as playgrounds, and not coming against that spirit of suicide that mm -hmm. you're not enough. You are more than enough. God has made you conquerors Jesus. in Him. Jesus. He He overcame death for us mm -hmm. if he can overcome that he said greater works shall you do the greater work has begun in you Hallelujah. so keep pressing on in the faith don't be swayed by what the media is saying or what's going on now it, this is all temporary god is using this he uses everything god, god <laughs> wastes nothing i say this all the time god wastes no thing at mm -hmm. all good bad and indifferent even in your personal life god is using those moments in your life where that you're ashamed of he's using that as your testimony he's I using that to 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 speak to someone else he's using that so don't discount those things that have gone that have gone on in your life or are going on in your life now and that's that's all i'm gonna say amen amen i mean since you're back <laughs> Since you're back. <laughs> yeah, I don't know when I'm gonna get this opportunity again. So if you could just sing the chorus to some alive, please. <laughs> oh god, okay. <laughs> um, let me see. I, uh, as you speak, yes. A hundred billion galaxies are born. <laughs> In the vapor of your breath, the planets form. If the stars were made to worship, so will I. I can see your heart in everything you made. Every burning star, a signal fire of praise. If creation sings your praises, so will I, so will I, uh, and as you speak, <laughs> what's up, of a hundred billion creatures catch your breath, 
They're evolving in pursuit of what you said. If it all reveals your nature is so alive, I can see your heart in everything you say. Every painted sky, a canvas of your grace. <laughs> if creation still obeys you, then so will I. So will I. If the stars were made to worship, so will I. If the mountains bow in reverence, then so will I. If the oceans roar your greatness, so will I. For if everything exists to lift you high, so will I. If the winds go where you send it, then so will I. If the rocks cry out in silence, then so will I. If the oceans roar your greatness, so will I. For if everything exists to lift you high, so will I. If the winds go where you send it, so will I. If the rocks cry out in silence, so will I. If the sum of all our praises mm. still falls shy, then we'll sing again a hundred billion times. Oh, 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 oh. and as you speak. A hundred billion failures disappear Where you lost your life So we can find it right here mm. If you left the grave behind you Then so will I I can see your heart In everything you've done Every part designed In a work of art Love. If you gave your life to love them, then so will I, like you would again a hundred billion times. But what measure could amount to your design? Because you're the one who never leaves the one behind. Yeah. So I'm sorry, I'm <laughs> <laughs> not my ministry. Oh my God, Osby, thank you. I cannot thank you enough. Thank, thank you, you for coming you. back again. Oh, no problem. Thank you, guys. If you don't know about Osby Berry, first of all, where have you been? But okay, welcome. <laughs> Please follow him on all social media platforms. Subscribe to his YouTube channel, and we are excited and on the lookout for your project thank you guys thank you thank you thank you <laughs> i'm excited we love you so much god bless you Ozzy. god bless you all right thank good you night much. everyone thank good you good night everybody <laughs>